Hello there. Um, we're back to get making videos about the Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, and today we'll be hooking up a hard drive to this machine via the USB port. Um, okay, as you can see, this is a bare hard drive. You can't really connect the SATA drive directly into the uh, Raspberry Pi without some kind of converter or something, right? So, that's precisely what I've got today. This. So for 300 yen, I got it from a company that refurbishes hard drives and sells it under their own brand. And they have a little store in Akihabara that sells their um, refurbished hard drives and also probably some parts that they use inside their hard drive casing or something. So anyway, what this is, is a uh, probably a USB to SATA converter thing. So I haven't tried this yet, and that's what it looks like it does. Um, this has no external power, so I'm hoping this hard drive doesn't pull too much current such that it doesn't work right or something. So I'll have to give it a shot because I haven't tried it yet. So anyway, I guess we'll get going. Whoops. Oh, there's some flimsy plastic there for you. I'm not going to use this bag anymore. Goodbye. So here's the little converter. It's got a nice long USB cable, but we're not going to really need it in our case because it's right next to each other. Um, first of all, I guess we'll see if it connects or not. So. Yep, it works. Now I guess I'll plug it into the Raspberry Pi and see if it starts up. Oh, but before that, I've gotten a little toy today. It's a USB current checking thing. So I got this for 1,080 yen, so that's about $10 or so. And actual product is th this little thing. Oh yeah, it's a it's got a translucent case with a LED based segment display that shows the let's see what is it, what does it show? It shows the voltage time time it's been turned on or something and the amperage and the cumulative current usage or something. So this thing claims that it operates from 3.5 volts to 9 volts and it can check sense current from 0 to 3.3 amps with a tolerance of 1%. Oh yeah, I'm sure, I'm very sure that this, this has that good of a tolerance, especially when it's less than 10 bucks. Well anyway, um, so again, I haven't tried this yet, so don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll give it a shot. First of all, just connect it to the USB port. Oh yeah, it turns on and it's lopsided now, oh well. So it says that this USB port of the Raspberry Pi 2 is putting out 4.85 volts. So okay, I guess we'll start connecting the hard drive, but um, yeah, this is kind of annoying, but we're all gonna have to live with it. Well, yeah, let's see if it turns on. And we'll just take a look at how much current this uh, hard drive pulls as it is connected to the Raspberry Pi. Doesn't sound like the hard drive is starting up. So it's pulling two, 0 0.2 amps, 200 milliamps. And the hard drive doesn't seem to start up. Okay. It's not what I expected. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I was trying to investigate why this might not work. 
Um, one of the things I think you might have noticed was that the voltage coming out of this USB port uh, was went down quite a bit when we were uh, when we connected the hard drive. I think it went down to probably around four and a half volts or so when the hard drive is expecting a uh, voltage of about five volts. So I was trying to think of uh, some of the reasons why this didn't work out. Well, I was thinking maybe the power brick that I was connecting this Raspberry Pi to was only giving out one amp. But, as you can see, I was actually using a 2.4 amp output, so even if it doesn't really go up to 2.4 amps, it probably still at least gives out something more than one amp. I think we can expect that um, the power dr droppage isn't due to this power brick itself. So it's probably just the fact that this uh, USB output cannot handle the hard drive. So okay, the hard drive is expecting um, 5 volts DC with 600 milliamps coming out. But as we know, USB only supports up to 500 milliamps, so that kind of explains why um, this Raspberry Pi was not able to power up this hard drive, and as such, that's probably the reason why we didn't hear the drive spin up or anything, anything like that. So unfortunately, this experiment today failed, and I probably can't get much use out of this uh, USB to SATA conversion board. Thanks a lot for watching. Sometimes things just don't go the way you expect it to. Oh well, see you next time. Something else is in there. Okay. On the hard drive, I have, have the Raspberry Pi 3 with as usual and the static, static USB or uh, static um, shilling bag. The Raspberry Pi 2. Okay. And the only thing not connected to the hard drive right, right now is so power. So here we have the Raspberry Pi 3. So this time I around, have. they say that this. Broadcom CPU I guess if I connect this, is the BCM2837. Start the hard drive um, because I this comes this right out of the socket. Uh, it should be ample.